Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Gail and this is Real Life and Keto. And yes, it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, life has been hectic and busy and stressful and all that stuff that it is for everybody else. So uh, I'm just stating it like it is. And But I'm going to try to do a chatty little thing here. So grab your drink of choice and pull up a chair and get comfortable and I'll get to it. So let's see. Last weekend, my family, uh, my dad, my sister, my niece, and my husband and I all went camping up north. We went, uh, I live in northern Michigan. I live in the northern part of the lower peninsula. We went actually to the bridge, um, the Mackinac Bridge. We camped at the base of the bridge, and um, and it was it was great. We took my, my um, dad, my folks, fifth wheel, and my sister and my niece slept in a tent, and we had a really good time. We went to to Quamanon Falls and walked around and saw the falls, took a ton of pictures. And what else? Um, then we went and uh, the whole reason we went was there was uh, the truck show. It was a semi-truck show. Uh, Richard Crane Annual Memorial Semi-Truck show and parade and they take all these semi trucks and they put lights on them and then they drive across the Mackinac Bridge and if you're unfamiliar with the Mackinac Bridge the Mackinac Bridge is five miles long and it connects the upper peninsula to the lower peninsula the bridge was opened in the year that my dad was born 1957 um, and if you're doing the math and you can't figure out how I can be 51 and my dad was born in 57, he's technically my stepdad, but he has been my dad longer than my birth dad was. Um, my birth dad passed away when I was 12 and my mom and dad got married in 81. And so he's been my dad for 36 years. So anyway, uh, that's a short version of the thing but anyway the bridge opened there he was born it was supposed to open on his birthday but they didn't open until november of 57. um anyway so this bridge is five miles long and the semi trucks and there must have been hundreds of them i videotaped trucks coming across the bridge at night for over a half an hour and they were not even close to being done but um, it was it was a lot of fun. I respect truck drivers a ton. They do a big job, and um, some are some guys are scary. And I will admit, some truck drivers can you know cut you off and and whatnot. But a lot of drivers don't handle maneuvering around truck drivers and don't give them the space they need and whatnot too. So kind of goes both ways. So that that whatever. Um, and if you're noticing, I have new glasses. I ordered them from online, uh, zenny.com. This is my second pair from Zenny. The other pair that you've seen me wear uh, was my first pair, and they were just, because I hadn't ever ordered from them, I was a little hesitant to order a bunch of stuff in case I didn't like them, and that pair of glasses was $30. That included the bifocals, uh, but they were just a, a, a acetate or plastic lens or plastic frame, whatever you want to call it. Um, these are also just a plastic frame, but I did pay extra on these for the transitions. As you can see, they're dark. Um, they turn into sunglasses at, when I go out in the in that. That's great because there were times when I would try to read and I'd have to put the little clip-ons on my other pair of glasses and it was very annoying because I could always see the little clips in the glasses. Distracting. But anyway, I love my new glasses. And... Um, yeah, so we had a good time. We went camping. We're hoping maybe next year we can get my my daughter and son-in-law and my nephew to join us on the trip. The other side of that is we all have to figure out who can take care of our dogs. We took um, my dad's dog came with us, the little Stormy, the little Shih Tzu, and um, of course everybody adored him. He's a little cutie. Um, let's see. I did go off plan. I already started this video once and the, it died on me. So trying this again. I did go off plan. I had, uh, I was the only one really doing keto when we took off on this trip. And I had just assumed that I would just, you know, not eat the carbs. 
And, but I was having kind of a tough time uh, mentally and emotionally with this being our first family trip without my mom. She was always kind of the heart of the family trips. And um, even still she was with us because our fifth wheel, my dad's fifth wheel was completely stocked with everything you could imagine. And that was due to mom's packing and, and tendencies to just think ahead and be very organized and have everything you could need. So, so it was a little bit of an emotional trip. This, as my dad put it, was our new normal. And um, we're still getting used to doing things without mom. But um, it was a good trip, but it was there were definitely difficult things and aspects about it because, you know, all the memories. We, we had done family trips up north tons of times. And always, mom was always right there in the thick of it. So, um, so yeah, it was a little bit, you know, it was just, it had some emotional spots. Uh, but overall, it was a really good trip. Uh, let's see. Anyway, came back Monday, got back to trying to get myself on plan with keto. Happy to say I came home from work today. Oh, by the way, today's Wednesday, the 20th of September. I came home today and had pink on my stick. So if you're keto, you know what that means. If you're not keto, that means that I have ketones in my urine. So happy to see that after Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, getting myself back on track. What else? Oh, I had mentioned in previous videos that I had, um, I follow my friend Brindis. She is um, from Iceland and she has a keto um, video blog on YouTube running on keto and a while ago this was probably last year she had um, went to her dermatologist who told her that coconut oil was the cause of her breakouts and it was kind of funny because I was struggling not funny haha but it was I was struggling with breakouts myself and for me they usually happen like in my eyebrows and they happen in my on my neck and um, just other, you know, wherever. And they're very painful and they're kind of deep and they're just, they're not nice. So those of you who've been following me, you know I've been kind of going through the, hor the whole hormone kind of thing. Um, I'll be 51 in December. And, and there's definitely been some changes in that aspect. And so uh, about a week, mm, about two weeks ago, I decided to buy a little jar of coconut oil to add back into my coffee because when I first started this way of eating my keto coffee was a tablespoon of coconut oil a tablespoon of butter usually Kerrygold but butter and two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and sweetener of my choice and it would be a big cup of coffee so it was loaded with fat and that was basically my breakfast but then when Brindis went to the dermatologist and he said stop taking it I decided after seeing her video that I too would stop taking the coconut oil and within a month my skin cleared up better than it had been in ages. But anyway, so back two weeks I decided to buy a little thing of coconut oil to see if maybe now that my hormones had changed a little bit maybe I could get away with adding a coconut into my coffee again. About three days into, three, four days into adding the coconut into just my coffee in the morning. I started breaking out like crazy and um, painful and I was like yeah can't do this it, it's just not good for me I think I can use it a little bit like in baking and that kind of thing where it's not one full tablespoon in my coffee every morning where it's kind of like broke up into servings and stuff I think that would work okay because I will use the coconut oil for different things that I'm not eating solely by myself, but, uh, but it was, reality is I just can't, I can't put it in my coffee. I like it. I like the taste of it in my coffee, but I, the, I, it took me until like today, my breakouts have finally healed because they were so bad. They were bright red and painful. And my husband's like, Hey, you got something on your neck. And I'm like, coconut oil. Yeah got me so I did want to touch on that and what else um, I am hoping that 
I can kind of settle down and focus. Things have been a little hectic lately and um, I'm hoping to kind of get a more regular, I'd mentioned this on the last video, but I didn't, just didn't take off. I want to start doing a little more regular videos. One of the the things that I'm running into is uh, YouTube got rid of their YouTube editor, video editor, and that's what I always used to string together if I took separate clips. So I got to figure out how to do this either on my phone before I upload it to YouTube or I did download um, Windows Movie Maker to my computer. And I'm very simple. I don't need fancy, you know, I just need to be able to put together multiple clips. I don't do a ton of editing, as you probably are well aware. Uh, so I did download that yesterday, the Windows Movie Maker, to see if that would... Because it took a ton of videos, like I said, of the, the semi-truck show and of the falls. And, um, and I'd like to add these to this video so you could see pictures and... And that kind of thing and you know just kind of catch up a little bit but I got to figure out the, the new program to make it work because YouTube took away I don't know why they took it away I have no idea it makes no sense to me but I was a little frustrated when I'm like I don't know how to put my videos together anymore because I don't have that you know program so um, I will say, as far as keto has been, while I've been in ketosis pretty steady most of the time, excluding this last weekend, I have been eating too much. And I haven't been tracking. And I've been trying to get back into the tracking mode. And it's really hard for me because it messes with my headspace. I just... I, I get into this, either I need to eat more or, or I've eaten too much and now I can't eat anymore and now I want to eat more because, you know, my fitness pal tells me that you've eaten all the calories you need for the day. Um, so I, that's, that's a head game that I'm playing with myself that I'm trying to figure out how to fix. Um, and I, and I think it's just something I'm going to have to come to grips with. I'm just either going to have to get serious with myself and say, look, do you want to lose the last 20 pounds or do you want to be, you know, messing around with this forever? Um, motivation wise, I have bought a few different things. I want to be Tinkerbell for Halloween and we get dressed up at work. So I already have a shirt that I think will work and I have some slippers or, you know, little flats or whatever. And, but I don't want to be tubby Tinkerbell, I want to be slender Tinkerbell. So that's motivation, that's a month and a half away. And then um, I bought a pair of boots from Zoo da or no, Shoe Dazzle. I'm thinking Zoo Lily, somebody talked about that. Shoe Dazzle, and they're supposed to be wide calf, but I can't get the, and I have fairly meaty legs, it's just, that's the way that is regardless of whatever. But um, I can't get them zipped up all the way in the back, in the calf part. So I'm like, okay, are they going to, you know, when you drop the inflammation, of course, from this last weekend, and when you get rid of the, get down to your goal weight, will they fit right? Hoping, hoping that that is the case. But um, what else? Yeah, I didn't really think a whole lot through what I wanted to talk about. I just knew I wanted to get another video up. And um, and I'm this one I might just upload and then maybe I'll do like a video of the trip. If I can figure out how to string them together. Just because it's been a while and I really want to get something up here for you guys. Um, but yeah, I hope you like my new glasses. They're The tint is great for in the sunshine. I really enjoy not having to switch to, you know, sunglasses that don't have my prescription in them. And I'd really like that I paid a little extra for the um, oil proof, smudge proof on them so they don't get as dirty as fast as my other pair, which is nice. And uh, yeah, I think I'll have to think about what I want to do or talk about later. I had thought about making a pizza tonight and I haven't decided if maybe I'll just do pizza toppings 
because I was thinking about doing a fathead pizza, but maybe halving, like doing the half the recipe. Because if I make a whole pizza, I could very well, as I just said, I overeat. I could eat all the pizza. So I might have to do like half a half a recipe and just make a single serving pizza and go from there. So wish me luck on that. I really do appreciate all my viewers and followers and if you're new to my channel and you like what you see so far please subscribe and click on the little bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos and yeah sorry it's been so long I'm hoping I can get back on a regular regiment now I have my new phone and I have my little action camera that I'm still trying to figure out I haven't really had a lot of time to do that things have just been just kind of hectic and busy and crazy and my headspace hasn't been really the best um you know i think i i know i have a lot of had a lot of support from other people who have lost a parent and you know i think the this first year of you wrapping your head around the stuff that you're going through that that your parent isn't there to share it with especially if you were close and, and my mom and I were very close and the night before we took off Thursday night I basically had a breakdown I just I just did I it was you know that hitting you that you're going on a trip without your mom and she always loved these trips um, she had a little bit of a gypsy nature to her and uh, loved to see new things and travel and she always liked to come home to her home too but I mean she she just she had an adventurous spirit. So, um, going without her was, it was a little, it was a little rough. So, and you know, and it's still, we're still, it's been, uh, this month will be six months on the 29th. It'll be six months since she passed. And it's hard to believe that it's already been six months. Um, yeah, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Yep. Six months. Oh, yeah and it's hard to believe I mean it's just crazy you know it just feels like yesterday in some ways so um yeah anyway thanks for watching I really appreciate it uh, I know this is longer and help me Lord help me figure out the the program to put my videos together so again I hope you're all doing great. Leave your comments below if you have any or any questions. I'd be happy to answer. And I will be back hopefully sooner than later. Thanks for watching and keto on.